Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show how to upload multiple files using the file picker component and render all the files in a, in a table component. And you can also provide one option where user can view the uploaded file. So as part of this video, I'm going to show how to upload the multiple image file and populate all those files into a table format and show all those uh, images uh, if user would like to see. Let's see how this can be achieved. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a page here. Let's say upload multiple images and create. Here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a file picker component, which will allow me to drop multiple files. And here you can see selection mode is multiple. If you will turn it into a single, then you can only drop single file, but better you use multiple that can be used to upload multiple files. Now here, when you upload a file, let me click on a file picker and let me generate an event on selected file. So when you do this here, you can see we have an input parameter called files and use that file array to get all the files which is uploaded, the name, the size, and then complete file reference. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to the base designer and here I'm going to create a variable here, which will be of a file, a file array. And here I'm going to create a uh, array type variable and create. I'm going to add few, uh, uh, I will say few uh, fields here, let's say name, make sure you add add the uh, add the uh, uh, field with the with that name only. Create new, there is a size, number type, and let me create one more, let's say file reference. No, you can have, different types of variables as well <laughs> and let me it's a any type all right now let me create a type now here custom and here let's say file type and create and let's add all those three fields here as well let's say name size and let's say file reference all right and that will be of any type create now under that variable i'm going to create a adp variable let's say file adp and it is of a adp type create and here i'm going to choose the item type as a file type and from here let's choose key attribute as a name for the time being all right now here in that action chain i am going to to uh, use a uh, for each where I will loop on these items, the file items, right? And then save. And then I'm going to use a uh, assign variable here. And I will assign all the files into that variable. Assign how I will do this file array. item and from that current okay first of all let's do this dot name and current dot index sorry all right so that will add the name into this array of a particular of the first file similarly size dot size and this guy and then this file reference and here this one right now save after this loop is completed i will have the file array and then after this for for each i am going to assign this array variable to the adp variable assign adp and then file array here and let's say one and then save. All right, now let's go to the page designer and let's put our table component here. 
and add data and file ADP and add your name and size. All right. So we have to, and let me change the name of columns, name, or let's say file name. And let's say file size. All right, that's it. Now let me go ahead and then change the default to upload. All right, and then default page to upload image. And let's run it. Oh, sorry, not here, I guess multiple image. All right, now let's try to add a couple of files here. Here you can see the file name along with the size. Let me add one more later. And here we go. Now we can see all the images that you have uploaded. Now here you also wanted to show the preview of that image. Let's see how this can be done. So go back, click here, and let me add an action here, new column I mean. Action. Let me make this on the top. And let me put an icon here. All right, it's not allowing me. Let me go into the code and let me do this thing. Let me add a template here, slot, and let's say action. And let me add an icon here. All right, and let me add this here. template action all right go to the design now all right let me go here and here we go now let me go to the design and let me change our little icon let's say image or lay show whatever you like not this one, view whatever, let's say view, all right, fine. Now on this, I'm going to generate an event, all right, and here I am going to write a JavaScript function which will convert the image to a base64. Let me add a function here. process image, which will take the file, the current file, and will return our data, the base64, all right? Now let me go to the action, and let me use that call, sorry, call function, and call that function called process image, and here I need to pass the file here, which is my current dot row dot file wrap. What is that file rep? File rep is that variable. All right. Now go to the action and the output I will assign into a variable. Go to the assign. Go to image and let's say create a new variable. Let's say image of string type. And then assign the result of the function to this image variable. Save. All right, now go to the page designer and let me put a dialog here. All right, and open use show and change the dialog property to let's say preview. Preview. And let me put our image component here. 
and then bind this image component with that image variable that we have created. Go to the general and let me change the height, let's say 500, 500 and let's say 250. All right, let me remove this button and let me make this like an icon. All right, now let me make the visibility of that dialog box and now go back to your event and use that call component and then this guy and then method name is like open that's it now let's run this page and see how it works now all right all right let's click here oh sorry so here i so basically you see it returns data so when you use it, you have to use dot data actually. All right. Let me upload four images here. And this time you will see. Preview. Preview. Here we go. This is how you can allow users to upload multiple files, show all those images in a in a uh, in a table format, and you can preview the images as well. So this is how you can achieve that functionality. I hope you found this useful. Thank you. Bye bye.